Well, friends, today we are someplace very, very special. We are here at Prado, a Blue Heron development in Section 10. You know that's near and dear to my heart. And I am standing in front of a $6.5 million model show home, and I'm getting ready to take you through a tour of this. It's incredible. It's one of the nicest homes I've ever seen. And it's a Blue Heron home, so you know it's got all of those incredible Blue Heron bells and whistles. This is going to be fun. And we're going to reveal the unique Blue Heron design and build process that takes you from lot selection to the amazing home that you see behind me right here. We're going from dirt lot to designer dream home. But wait, there's more. What if I told you that Blue Heron's putting in a sister development just a few blocks from here and there are more homes available and they have new buyer incentives that quite frankly are about as much as a medium priced home. You're going to want to hear about that hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of incentives. My name's Micah Bleacher and I love living in Las Vegas. I've lived here for more than 22 years and I make videos about what it's like to live in this incredible, amazing city. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that Section 10 is a very special and unique place here in Las Vegas. And in a minute, we're gonna go over why that is. But right now, we're gonna go take a look at this incredible $6.5 million home. Come on in, we're gonna go around and take a peek at it. Let's go. Well, friends, welcome to Prado by Blue Heron here in section 10. We are here in the Cresta model. This is the second largest model that Blue Heron offers here in Prado. And this is elevation three of the Cresta model. Now this home has over 5,800 square feet, four bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. It has a four car garage. Now it's sitting on a half an acre with an infinity pool and spa and a complete casita that's perfectly livable. It's an absolutely beautiful property. To my left over here is the luxury media room and behind me you're looking directly into the kitchen featuring wolf appliances. In fact you're looking right at a large sub-zero refrigerator but you can't see it because it's built right into the kitchen cabinetry. It's absolutely elegant. Now behind the kitchen is the primary bedroom. Of course all the bells and whistles there with sliders out to the backyard and the infinity spa. Now of course as you can imagine the primary bathroom is just beyond luxury and it leads into the primary closet which is huge, functional, beautifully built and it has a back door that goes right into the laundry room and attaches to this hallway right to my right here. It's an amazing setup. I absolutely love how that works and in fact you can come into the garage, go into the laundry room and into the primary bedroom without even entering any other part of the house. I love that. Now straight across from the kitchen is the great room. Now the great room is surrounded in glass so you can see the backyard, the pool, the casita, everywhere. And the ceiling is so tall, uh, Blue Heron refers to them as soaring ceilings. I think it's at least 25 or 30 feet tall and it's absolutely beautiful. You can see the stairs going up to the second level where there are three extra bedrooms, an extra living area that looks into the great room and a roof deck that sits out over the luxury media room and access to yet another roof deck on top of the house with a 360 degree view all around Las Vegas. You can see the strip and you can see Red Rocks. And there's even an outdoor kitchen up there. It's gonna be a great place to entertain. This is gonna be the best place to watch fireworks on the 4th of July and on New Year's Eve, right here on that roof deck in the Cresta model here at Prado in section 10. Now I see a lot of fine homes in my work, but I have to tell you that this is one of the finest. It's got every bell and whistle you can imagine. In fact, I've got 42 pages of upgrades. We're not gonna go over all those upgrades. I'm not gonna read them to you, but what we are gonna do is experience them together. I'm just sitting in this little sitting area right in the foyer of the front door. It's absolutely beautiful. You've got an incredible enclosed wine rack, wine fridge right behind me. I uh, wanted to tell you a little bit about Blue Heron and what they're all about. Uh, people in Las Vegas, a lot of people know about them, but people elsewhere don't always know. So let me tell you a little bit about Blue Heron. Blue Heron is known for going beyond anything traditional when it comes to homes. They are an amazing builder and I think you can see it here by the work that they've done. Now Blue Heron homes go beyond standard 
rooms, walls, and ceilings. Everything you see here is intentional and incredibly thought out. They specialize in creating spaces that enhance people's lives. They call it amplified living, and I love that. Who would not want to be amplified by everything that you see around here? It's incredible. Now, these homes are designed for vivid, vibrant living that engage the senses. And as we're walking around here, I can tell you, my senses are engaged. Now, Blue Heron was founded by a guy named Tyler Jones, who was a fourth generation Las Vegan. Now, he comes from a family of pioneering thinkers that helped shape Las Vegas into what it is today. The modern design that you see here is inspired by the Las Vegas climate and the energy that we have here in this incredible city. These homes blend innovation and history to amplify the way people experience home life. Since 2004, Blue Heron has been the premier partner for transforming and elevating the way people live here in Las Vegas. These homes are like none others you've experienced. You need to experience a Blue Heron home. They're incredible. Well, let me tell you a little bit about Prado. Prado is one of Blue Heron's Nexus communities. Nexus is Blue Heron's community home division. And you'll find these communities nestled among the most expensive and exclusive neighborhoods all around Las Vegas, Nevada. Now these Nexus homes create harmony between physical nature and human nature. It's amazing the way they bring these two elements together. Now Prado here in section 10 provides a peaceful refuge from the neighboring metropolis. Now there's big city amenities nearby and only 18 homes in this community. Now we're located right in the middle between downtown Summerlin and the Strip. That's the location. So that's downtown Summerlin's about six miles to the west and the Strip is about six miles to the east. It's one of the most convenient locations in Las Vegas. Now there are only 18 homes here in the Prado community, but that's what we see here a lot of in Section 10. There are some small cul-de-sac type neighborhoods and Prado is one of those. However, Blue Heron takes these cul-de-sac neighborhoods in Section 10 to the next level. There's 18 homes in here. There's a gate. They're beautiful. It's, it's just an absolutely beautiful neighborhood. It's still in a construction, of course, but this is just going to be something spectacular when it's finished. It's already looking incredible. Now I'm standing here in the great room and it's just so amazing. The ceiling's probably 25 feet tall. It's incredible. I love the, the wall finishes here have uh, incredible textures to them. And there's lighting behind these finishes and that goes all the way up over the ceiling and down and around upstairs. It's just incredible how this whole room is finished. I just love this place. Now the standard kitchens include all Thermador appliances, ovens, microwaves, they're incredible. The one that we see here uh, has been upgraded to the Wolf appliances. So you can upgrade these homes to your heart's content. In fact, the model home here probably has, uh, you know, three or four million dollars in upgrades in it. It's incredible and it's just, something that you have to experience. Now a house like this, of course, is gonna have at least a four car garage and that's what we have here. So we have two bays to my left and I'm standing in two bays. To my right, there are two tankless water heater systems and there is a water softener loop. So you've got this garage equipped with just about everything. This garage is set up beautifully for someone who loves cars and convenience because you can walk right in to the laundry room, to your primary bedroom or into the Lux media room. It's incredible. Now, of course, these kitchens here are fitted with sub-zero refrigerators. I love how these are hidden and just look like regular cabinetry, but of course, inside is a very large double sub-zero fridge. My wife would almost kill for one of these kitchens. Now, as you can imagine, the bathrooms are something incredibly special in a Blue Heron home. You'll find contemporary floating vanities at the primary and powder bathrooms, full ceiling height mirrors, undermount porcelain sinks and contemporary faucets, engineered ports, countertops. These are incredible. I love the little stand-up tub here. It's actually low enough for it to be easy to get in and out of. It's beautiful, it's incredible, and I just love the way they marry those together. The marketing team refers to these bathrooms as relaxing and rejuvenating, and pretty much that's exactly how I feel when I'm walking through them. It would be so nice to relax and jump in the tub. They have a little sitting area, a little porch outdoors off of the bathroom, and just incredible attention to details. I just love these Blue Heron homes. Now I'm walking out here in the backyard of this Cuesta model and honestly, it's one of the nicest hardscapes I've seen. You've got the infinity pool right over my shoulder here. You've got a detached casita over my left shoulder there. 
all kinds of outdoor living spaces, multiple sitting areas, not only on the ground level, but you've got a balcony over there, you've got a secondary balcony over there, and then you've got a full rooftop deck all the way at the top. And one of, one of the things that I love about this house is that right outside the main living area and the primary bedroom, you've got this incredible infinity edge tub. You know, there's probably nothing more popular than a detached casita and they've got one on this unit and it's absolutely beautiful. I love the way it's finished. There's a wet bar over there that's got incredible natural stone and it walks right out to a sitting area. Here, there's a television in the sitting area. You can look behind me, the infinity pool. I mean, who would not want to spend a little time in that detached casita right there? It's absolutely incredible. This Cresta model at Blue Heron, they have literally put in every bell and whistle they can think of in this home and it is stunningly beautiful. I love it. I stayed a little while for it to get the evening lights behind me and I think it paid off because it really shows off this property and all the extra lighting. It, so important to get that hardscape and the lighting and everything done. It just looks so beautiful, so inspiring, so energizing. I love this property and I'm so glad I was able to share it with you guys. Now Nexus is Blue Heron's community home building division. And there are several Nexus communities all around Las Vegas. Prado is just one of them. I believe there's four in Lake Las Vegas. Uh, there's one in Southern Highlands. There's one on the east side of town uh, in another vintage area of Las Vegas and there's going to be a Prado 2 just a few blocks away from here. So there are several Nexus communities around town and they are incredibly popular with the home buyers here in Las Vegas. Now the Nexus communities in addition to Prado at Lake Las Vegas you have Shoreline, Arvada, Valaria, and Strata. And I've been out there a number of times and they are incredible as well. Now Osai is in southeast Las Vegas in the classic part of town. Uh, kind of vintage, has a similar feel to Section 10, I guess you could say. And then Stonewater is another Blue Heron Nexus development, and that's in Southern Highlands, which is just a beautiful, uh, luxurious master plan community as well. So that's where you find these Blue Heron Nexus communities. They're just gorgeous and you have to experience them. Now at Prado, there are four different floor plans available and each of the floor plans have three different elevations. So there are many options. Now, of course, we're here in the Cresta model. These run about 57 to 5,800 square feet, depending on the elevation that you select and the floor plan. There are four to seven bedrooms, 4.5 to seven bathrooms, four car garages on all these homes. They're great. Now, the Valet model has natural light and has an expansive open floor plan. It's single story, I believe. Now, two of these models are single story here in Prado. Now Valet's spacious single level home design expands from the private entry to the open great room and kitchen. Soaring windows and pocket doors surround the living spaces, maximizing sunlight and creating a seamless connection to the landscape of indigenous desert plants and vibrant succulents. Valet's exude a feeling of tranquil seclusion from the neighboring city centers. It's kind of how you feel when you're walking through here. Now the Haven model runs from about 4,000 to 4,390 square feet. There it's a little bit smaller. Also with a four car garage, everything in Prado has a four car garage. Now the Haven has an interior courtyard and a primary suite tucked away in a pri very private way. The single level Haven is a secluded refuge from the nearby urban hubs. The entrance flows organically through the great room and spills into the rear entrance. Crafted on expensive home sites, the Haven is the perfect setting for inviting loved ones and family over. I mean, who wouldn't want to come to one of these homes? They're incredible. Now, the Sancta is the largest model they have here, and uh, that can go as large as 6,500 square feet and change. It can be configured with four to nine bedrooms, five to nine bathrooms. I mean, that's a big house. Also a four car garage. Now, as you can imagine, a Blue Heron home like this, creating one is actually kind of a process, and they've been doing this for 20 years, so they've got it down to an art. So the Blue Heron Atelier design team is incredible, and it's pretty much a 45-day process from start to finish to get the design work done. Now, process number one is the lot premium. We gotta pick out the lot. We pick out the dirt, we pick out the ground, we pay for it. Usually, that's done in cash, and that's pretty much considered the down payment for the whole project, in most cases. Step number two, we go with the floor plan. We pick out which model we want, 
And step number three is the structure. We pick out which elevation we want and the room configuration because there's lots of options with every one of these models. So we have to pick that out in the beginning. Then we go through the whole interior design process. And as I mentioned, they've got an incredible design team that I would say probably 99% of every Blue Heron home buyer uses because they are so intertwined and woven together with the philosophy of Blue Heron and the feeling and experience they're trying to accomplish. Most people just say, yeah, please give me the Blue Heron design team and go with that. And so now is when you would pick out the interior finishes and they have all of the sourcing. I'm, I'm walking around this house right now and honestly the finishes are about as nice as I've seen in any single house here in the valley. So they really have their finger on the pulse of sources and materials and everything that you need to take your home to a Blue Heron designer masterpiece. Now, once you've selected the interior finishes, next step is the exterior. You want to design the outdoor experience. Now, the front yard comes with the base price, but you're going to probably want to have the backyard done. And they have a special team that integrates the entire uh, Blue Heron philosophy, design philosophy, build philosophy into the backyard. And you can see these backyard spaces are incredibly special. Now, step number six is, of course, getting the construction loan to build everything. And so you've got the lot selected, you've got all of your interior finishes done, uh, you've got all of your, you know, the structural figured out and the outdoor design. And now you get the construction loan to get started. And so you get a construction loan, the builder takes draws off of that as the project continues. And uh, once it's all said and done, you get the keys. And typically those construction loans, then you convert them to a 30 year mortgage. And so that's really how building a new home works. So anyway, the process is incredible and detailed to get a Blue Heron home going like this. And the design process is fun. Now, one of the things that Blue Heron does is they are very generous and they wanna pay for your buyer agent's fee. So when you have a buyer agent represent you, Blue Heron is very generous about paying them. So that is something that you don't have to worry about. And the reason they do that is because they are high touch, uh, hands on. They want their clients to be well taken care of. Now you can come in here and do it on your own, but you have to remember no matter how nice and how helpful the builder's agents are at any new build, they always represent the builder. And not all builders welcome agents, buyer agents, as much as Blue Heron. You're not gonna probably have to worry about paying. Now section 10, as I mentioned, is a very special area of town. Uh, a lot of people hear about it, everybody's curious about it. When people drive here, they're drawn to it because of these palatial estates and half acre lots that you have here. Almost all of the lots are required to be a half an acre or near a half an acre, 18,000 square foot minimum, according to the zoning. So at one time, this was a rural area around Las Vegas. And so they created this rural zoning where people could live away from the strip and even keep horses and livestock out here. Now, HOAs in Section 10 don't allow livestock, but if you're in an area that doesn't have an HOA, technically a person could own a horse or two on a half an acre, according to the zoning code. Anyway, Section 10 is a special area of low density zoning. So now there's a square mile here in section 10 that has that zoning. Now also there's a square mile in section 11 that has that zoning. There are some million, multi-million dollar mansions there, but it is a bit older than section 10, section 11. Now across Sahara is section three, and that has multi-million dollar mansions and also the same kind of zoning. And then over across Buffalo, section four, another square mile, with almost all half acre home sites and the very same zoning. So what do you have? You've got nearly four square miles of low density. And what does that actually mean? Well, let's think about it. You've got two houses on an acre here in section 10. How many deliveries do you get every day? How many Amazons? How many UPSs? How many mailmen? How many landscapers? How, ma how many repair people? How many friends come over? How many family members come over? Anyway, do all that math for two homes on one acre. Now, there is zoning that specifies eight homes per acre. Okay, now you can take that two and multiply it times four, right? For the eight. And 
that's how many deliveries and trucks and people and so forth are going up and down your streets. Now, they also have a zoning regulation that allows for 18 homes. You might go up to Summerlin and see some very, very small lots and also around other parts of the valley, but you're not gonna see that here in section 10. The lots here are a half an acre and only two homes are allowed per acre. So they're not gonna be a lot of deliveries, right? I mean, they're just gonna be for two homes per acre. So just walking around, driving around, there's not as many cars. It doesn't seem as thick. It doesn't seem as busy. It feels like the density is low. So it's counter to, we used to live a little bit more closer to Summerlin and we noticed that it was just getting thick on the roads with traffic because there's a whole downtown area in Summerlin against the mountains. And then on the east, there's a whole area that is called the Las Vegas Strip. And it's one of the most dense areas I know. So right here in the middle, about six miles west of the Strip and about six miles east of downtown Summerlin, you've got this four mile area of low density. And that is section 10 and what I call greater section 10 because it's comprised of section 10, 11, three and four across Sahara. And this whole area is low density. And that's why people like it so much. That's why people will come in here and they'll buy a little ranch house and just gut it and remodel the whole thing. And now they've got a half an acre estate you know, from their remodeled ranch home. In fact, that's exactly what my wife and I did in 2017. I think it's the smartest financial move we ever made uh, to buy that house in section three. We re took it down to the studs, remodeled it, and now we have a show home. Now it's not a mansion like this. It's not a luxury contemporary home like this one. It's a modest home. It's a ranch home that we've remodeled. And to us, it's a mansion, but that's why people buy here in section 10. Now, of course, Blue Heron came in, bought some land in here, and they've created these incredible spaces right down the street. I literally live about a half a mile to the north, and I love that they have come in here. They're lifting up the home prices in the entire area, and of course, people that really know what luxury living is and enjoy the finer things in life are gonna buy these Blue Heron homes. Well, friends, I'm standing here at the construction site of Prado 2. Prado 2 is a sister neighborhood of the Prado development just a couple of blocks away, and they are both right here in section 10. This one is just starting. Prado 1, the original Prado, has about three home sites left, and there are nine home sites here, half acre home sites, and all nine are still available. Now, you have to understand how scarce dirt is here in Las Vegas. It is very difficult. Uh, there's a shortage of buildable land and finding land to build on in a good location is not easy. So Blue Heron has found nine home sites here and they're putting in a sister community to Prado One. Now, there are new building incentives going on right now. Uh, as I mentioned, 150,000 off the base price, 150,000 off the dirt. Now, when I see $150,000 off of a lot, here in section 10, my ears pick up because land is so scarce, you don't see discounts like that, but these are new buyer discounts to get started on this neighborhood. Now, in addition to that 300,000 base price and lot premium, you get $100,000 that you can use towards your atelier design process. Now, just about everyone who buys a Blue Heron home uses the atelier design service offered by Blue Heron and the incentive here gives you $100,000 off of that. So I think that's incredible. Anyway, uh, as you can see, we've got Sahara Avenue a few blocks behind me. And honestly, one of the biggest concerns is the traffic noise from Sahara. I'm standing here right now and it's not terrible. Now I live across the street in section three on a half an acre also in greater section 10. And when you live in the city, when you live in the center, it, right in the middle between the Las Vegas Strip and Summerlin, you're gonna hear some city noises. So this is not what you would consider the quietest neighborhood. You're gonna hear city noises. If you want quiet, you've gotta go maybe up to Mount Charleston or perhaps get a custom Blue Heron lot around the edges of the Las Vegas Valley, which one of those lots might cost as much as one of these homes altogether. But that's where you'd have to go to get that near perfect peace and quiet if that's what you're looking for. Now, I've lived here in this neighborhood for many years and we think it's fantastic. The city noises don't bother us at all. In fact, I've got a friend that lives just right here on Laredo and her cul-de-sac actually faces Sahara. 
and she loves it. You're gonna have to pry her out of that house with the crowbar. <laughs> I've asked her, do you want me to sell that house? No way, she loves it. She's gonna stay here until the bitter end. Anyway, these incentives are available for a short time only, so if you're interested, give me a call and we'll sit down at a Blue Heron office and we can talk about what it takes to get into one of these incredible homes. Well, friends, I love working in section 10. Everyone's heard of the three L's of real estate, right? Location, location, location. In section 10, you get more L's. Of course, we've got location, but here we've got large lots. We have low density zoning and we have luxury. In section 10, you get more L's. You're gonna fall in love with section 10. Now friends, we have another thing we need to discuss. Now we've seen the height of luxury, the unique design build process, and the incredible lifestyle that comes with living in section 10 in a Blue Heron home. Now whether you're drawn to the vibrant energy of Las Vegas or the serene elegance of a contemporary home, Blue Heron has crafted a space that blends the best of both worlds. Now I find this window into the ultimate luxury living experience to be downright inspiring. Now if you find it inspiring, I would love to help you get your own dream space in this incredible city. We can sit down with the design team here at Blue Heron and make your dreams come true. My name's Micah Bleacher and I'm always here to help you find the perfect place to call home. Just give me a call.